Assalamualaikum and hi. So in this video, I will uh, discuss on our FIN three six zero. Okay, uh, for this chapter one, which is relationship of banks and customer. So uh, in this coming video, I will do it um, a kind of part by part, so that is easier for you to study it out because. Uh, uh, if I'm giving out in full one to two hours a uh, length of video, it might be uh, quite a hassle for you to uh, watch and uh, it might be a kind of uh, heavy lah for you to download uh, the video. So I'm going to make it by uh, part by part. Yeah? Right? So for FIN360, the... Uh, legal and uh, ethics in banking um, so this uh, subject is actually a kind of uh, uh, crucial for banking students uh, uh, to learn so you will get to know um, a few parts of uh, uh, legal and laws that recover uh, that covers uh, the banking institutions in Malaysia so the first chapter is relationship of banks and customer right so this one one moment right okay so the first uh, slide will be a, a kind of introductory to you uh, to introduce to the structure of the Malaysian financial system okay so according to that what have you learned in FIN uh, I think 263 for banking operations okay so you have learned about uh, our Malaysian financial system which constitutes of uh, uh, financial institutions and also the financial market okay so kita ada dua uh, yang main part lah uh, which is financial institution itself and also the financial market. So, financial institution di sini comprises the banking system and the non-banking financial intermediary. So, I hope you can actually uh, verify which one is the uh, bank and which one is the non-bank financial intermediary. So, if we are talking about uh, those commercial banks such as Maybank, CIMB, Song Leong Bank, Public Bank, those are the banks. Okay, But for for non-bank financial intermediaries who also plays important part in our Malaysian financial system such as insurance companies, the KWSPs, the uh, development financial institutions, eh, right? Uh, also such as Tabung Haji and so on. Those are also crucial um, uh, and important financial institutions in Malaysia. And also we have second adalah financial market which comprises okay, financial market which comprises of money and foreign exchange market capital market derivative okay so for this one right so the banking uh, financial uh, system normally okay the big boss okay as i always mention who is the big boss in our banking system of course the central bank okay the bank negara malaysia right and um uh, followed by the banking institution like commercial bank, finance bank, uh, merchant bank nowadays is actually no more. We have investment banks such as CIMB investment, RHB investment and Maybank investment, right? So those are all merchant, uh, no more called as merchant bank but right now being called as investment bank, okay? So these are the banks, right? And uh, non-financial intermediaries, Okay, uh, such as I have mentioned earlier, like provident and pension funds, KWSP, uh, insurance companies. So we have a lot of insurance companies in Malaysia. Okay, such as uh, you name ones like uh, uh, if uh, Prudentials, uh, INGs. Okay, uh, we have a lot like AIAs and so on. We have uh, local and also some of it is actually far away from uh, foreign. Uh, companies okay, from overseas right so those are insurance companies we also have uh, not to uh, forget our takaful malaysia berhad kan so itu semua adalah among the insurance companies development financial institution we have such as uh, like Tabung Haji and so on. We have saving institutions seperti Bank Simpala National, okay, this one, National Savings Bank, and cooperative societies also termasuklah uh, bank, um, 
rakyat dan sebagainya. Okay, so those are savings institution. So over here we also have other NBFI seperti intermediaries, unit trust such as PNB, ASB and so on, Piglins, Farm Board, K Housing, uh, credit institutions, Chagamas Berhad and so on. Okay, so those are uh, called as other non-bank financial intermediaries. We also have fi financial market, money and foreign exchange market, capital market and derivatives market, okay, uh, and also offshore market in Labuan, right? So, uh, kalau money market, they traded instrument yang less than a year, such as commercial papers, negotiable uh, sets of deposit, kalau forex, uh, foreign exchange market adalah yang trading, um, foreign currency ya forex yang, yang lebih dikenali sebagai for forex kalau capital market you know those instruments traded over here adalah uh, mempunyai maturity more than a year okay such as equity market seperti shares yang trading dekat bursa malaysia we also have bond market termasuklah sukuk di sini public debt securities and also any other private debt securities bonds yang diisu oleh government atau bond yang diisu oleh syarikat-syarikat swasta okay dan derivative market adalah derivative so mereka adalah instrumen-instrumen yang diterbitkan daripada uh, kita katakan mereka mempunyai uh, um, real instrument ataupun uh, constitute from the real instrument such as kalau commodities, uh, CPO, crude palm oil, kita derive daripada harga-harga crude palm oil yang trading. Okay? KLSE adalah from the bursa FBM KLCI index, okay? dia ada futures contract dan Klaibo adalah daripada normally the 3 months Kuala Lumpur Interbank Offered Rate. Okay, um, yang menjadi indikator untuk interbank money, market uh, lending dan sebagainya, right? So, itu adalah Klaibo dan offshore di Labuan, right? Um, yang ini biasanya you belajar lebih lagi di dalam uh, FIN365 International Banking for Offshore Market, right? So, definition of the bank ini adalah yang saya nak masukkan mula-mula sekali, okay? Uh, definition of the bank Okay, uh, di bawah section 2, BAFIA 1989. So, everyone must know what is BAFIA, Banking and Financial Institutions Act. Walaupun telah digantikan dengan Financial Services Act 2013, however, kita masih refer untuk uh, BAFIA ni, okay, especially uh, tentang definition of the bank dan sebagainya. Okay, apa yang dimaksudkan dengan bank? Bank adalah means a person which carries on banking business. Ini adalah Uh, definition uh, di bawah perundangan kita di Malaysia so a bank means a person which carries on banking business which includes the business of pertama dia mesti adalah yang receiving deposit atau money or in any currencies or deposit account so deposit account uh, adalah current account okay, uh, savings account atau current account okay, current account dia ada um, a check yang comes together with the account lah. So, fixed deposit account adalah FD uh, yang dikenali juga sebagai FD yang selalunya uh, dikenali juga sebagai account pelaburan. Okay. So, you tak boleh masukkan duit dan keluarkan sesuka hati. You have to wait for maturity date baru boleh draw, withdraw back the money lah. So, savings account pula adalah account saving biasa yang kita semua ada. Okay, the one that provided with your debit card tu. Itu adalah in account simpanan biasa and any other similar account. So, maknanya bank uh, kita iktiraf hanya apabila dia adalah institution yang menerima di deposit. Okay. Kedua, dia mesti paying or collecting check drawn or paid by customer. Mesti ada hikmat uh, sama ada dia drawn ataupun uh, cashkan check itu okay, kepada pelanggan dia. Number three, providing loans and advances. Mesti bagi pinjaman kepada customer. Dan number four, mesti adalah institution yang melakukan sebarang aktiviti yang hanya dibenarkan oleh Ministry of Finance. Maksudnya kena ada license lah berdaftar dengan MOF. Right? Uh, so, itu adalah uh, untuk slide yang pertama. Uh, dan kedua, okay, uh, regards to the definition of the bank. So, I'll see you in the next video. Kita akan bercerita tentang uh, definition of the bank dengan lebih lanjut okay, uh, untuk kita tengok case of 
United Dominion Trust Limited versus Kirkwood 1966. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.